I'll be making a gameplay overlay for Twitch. I'll be showing you some tips that I use because of this feature. First and foremost, we're going to create a custom size and we're going to make it 1920 by 1080. This is a 16 by 9 ratio and it's the standard size across all Twitch streams. I like to just zoom out a little bit. We can get the full canvas kind of in view. When it comes to making overlays, we want to think about your branding for your Twitch stream. We'll come up to your stream. This is how they get the vibes for your streams. Yeah, there's a couple of branded elements elements that we like to keep in mind, such as working with a consistent color palette and working with consistent themes. Regarding picking colors, there's this website called Coolers that I really like. It is a color palette generator. This site makes it way easier. We just click explore trending palettes right here. They basically have auto generated like a ton of really pretty looking color palettes. You kind of just look around and find one that you like. This is going to be one that we'll be working with today. I'm going to use the darkest color for the border. I'm just going to click that. And when you click it, it'll automatically copy the hex code. We go back to Adobe Express here and let's go to shapes. We're going to go look for a rectangle to make our border. Pick the rectangle with the border. Click that. Uncheck fill here. If we click the border, we can just paste the hex code that we have just selected and bam, it automatically drops the hex code in. A trick that I use to make sure my border is 16 by nine ratio, I just make it like the entire size of the canvas because the canvas that we're working with, we as we already made was, is in a 16 by nine ratio, adjust the width of the border to the size that we like. I really recommend when you're making a gameplay overlay for your streams, make your assets take up as much space as possible. Obviously, it's more conducive for the viewer if they were to go and look at your stream and the gameplay is as big as possible. Over here on the right hand side, we can also adjust the thickness of the border. I think this is like a good size where it's not like too big or too small. Copy and paste here. We can kind of downscale this and make this our webcam border. Adjust the width of your webcam border. You can also use the arrow keys to kind of scooch the graphic elements around. So if you aren't like completely satisfied about where things are located. Now we're going to go back under shapes and I'm going to click rectangle here. We're going to make this our chat box. I'm not going to make it the full height of the gameplay overlay because I want to add text above it that says chat. We're just going to go click purple, line this up to the edge here. I'm just going to go yoink the second. I'll work with this color. I like to just grab a rectangle, pulling off the color palette. I just chose one of the more medium colors in the color palettes. I just like to make a whole bunch of rectangles and just like fit it around the borders. Once we fill all of the white space that we want with these rectangles, our webcam border and our gameplay scenes will be blank in the center. So I can download it as a transparent image without anything in the background there. Let me get this one up here. Drag all the rectangles behind in our layers. Let's go look up some clouds. Hit pink color. I'm just going to click this cloud. And again, we can adjust the colors here. Grab some of these pink clouds over here. Let me copy and paste another one here. Let me grab a different shape and lower the opacity of these clouds. I just like grabbing the different different shapes so that there's like some variation within the textures of the clouds. I like to go and add a couple of boxes here at the bottom. For instance, you can put your total follower counts. You can put your like total sub counts and it will live update on screen. The way I line them up is I'll put one at the ends and I'll put one at the beginning and I'll just copy and paste another two in the middle. Let's go under text and just click add your text over here on the right hand side. Let me just go name this chat. I'm going to pick something a little bit thicker though. Another really cool thing Express has is they have font recommendations on the right hand side. You can go click show more. They will generate a lot more for you. I actually really like this one. Copy and paste. It's already looking so good. We just have the final step, which is adding some graphic elements onto here. You can look up dotted lines like this. We're going to downscale this a bit. We'll layer this behind our little gameplay border and we'll copy and paste one last time. The final step that you want to do is click the download button. File type PNG with transparent backgrounds. If you download as a PNG, the webcam border in your gameplay scene will be white. It will just be this image with white in these spaces. Whereas if you download as a transparent background, it will not be white. It will be completely transparent. It's going to click start download. And it, as you can see on my computer, it has downloaded this. Bye bye. <laughs>